So, what now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together, or not? I'm out on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place. It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. Make yourself comfortable. I'll try. This place, it's not exactly... cozy. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that... It means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. You're a bad influence on me. You say that like it's a bad thing. It definitely makes life more... complicated. I know you said you'd like to keep it friendly, without benefits. And I'm okay with that. I am. But I still want you to know... You've left a mark on me. You're the first person who's made me feel like... I don't know, like... I might actually be... Good. Do you maybe... Feel the same? I'm gonna kiss you now. was ever gonna happen. Guess you've proven me wrong. Hold that thought. Is that what I think it is? What is my stuff doing on display in your cave? Alongside mementos of the psychopaths you've locked up? Not that you're normal by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, and there I am, right next to Harvey Dent. This has got to be good. I keep items from friends and foes. Reminders. Never took you for the sentimental type. I keep a memento from each of my cases. Uh, did you want them back? Hold on to them. They look kind of nice there. Tea for two is served. Alfred, thank you. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. 
The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data. I've finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because well, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm impressed you felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. But I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. Difficult to take it back at this point. I wouldn't have been able to get into the laptop without her. Uh, this seems like her area of expertise. And I believe she needed your help just as much. <sighs> it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. Invoices, schematics, design notes. must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. <laughs> Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. You owe her a phone call. Bruce, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... is that what Quinn's after? Yes, I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham, at the Bodhi Spa. Okay, okay. 
I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but you only have yourself to blame for this. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Down, now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Gordon, this is all one big mistake. Uh, shut your mouth and stay down! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. I look to you for answers, for comfort after my father's death. Instead, you're running with a new crowd. Criminals? I hope you understand why I had to do this. It makes me question everything you've told me my entire life. It wasn't easy, but it had to be done. I don't get it. Having me arrested is completely absurd. Knowing what I know, it'd be absurd if you went free. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save Officers, it. please! He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand. How you got tied up in all this? The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing... It's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous, but there's something I don't get. 
Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. I got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. That's what he meant. That was the mission. Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed this city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With dad gone, maybe I can still help if Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. You'll need the proper training. It's a dangerous job. Whatever it takes, I'm in. That's good to hear. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or failing that to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst-case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now is your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. I'm not willing to let anyone die, even them, just for the sake of this plan. What about Gotham? It's cold calculus, but it's the best way. For now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. 
Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. No innocent collateral damage. No, just innocent people, Bruce. I'll have to keep everyone who runs that facility out of harm's way. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. Appears to just be a patron. must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. We have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. This is definitely the place. Bodhi Spa. Good work, Bruce. They weren't exactly being subtle. That access door is connected to the spa. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover's been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I'm looking for something. Aren't we all? Uh, for Harley. 
she sent me. Funny. She didn't mention that. My bae, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. Isn't that what John told me you found at Riddler's? The tidbit you and Harley tried to omit? I thought I'd have to break something to get it from him. But I think our friend likes to play both sides. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem but it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Rise and shine. you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. He had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know? Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. 
We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. Deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. I can tell he meant a lot to you. He did, till he blew his brains out. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. Like that girl. What's her face, uh... Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s. Fresh-faced and optimistic. Are you threatening her? Oh, take it down a notch, Wayne. Your friend is safe. It's your job to keep her that way. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you- Yeah, shocker. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert, I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley. Uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. Take this! You hitting him already? I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but this is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. You know Harley. She's not a mind reader. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. And don't think I don't feel just awful about this. Since, you know, I stole it. Can't help but feel a little bit responsible. 
All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. been fun. Bane, get him inside. <clears throat> you can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. You need me! Yeah. Once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, oh, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.